There's a heavyweight fight on the horizon that will take place in Montreal. Arslanvik Magmadov will take on Carlos Takam. And it'll be for the NABA, NABF, and WBC Silver Division titles. What does this mean for boxing? Let's talk about it in this video. Today, broadcast on ESPN Plus for us Westerners, we're going to see a heavyweight fight broadcast from Montreal, Canada. Arslanbek Makhmadov is going to take on Carlos Takam. These two heavyweights are going to be featured in a an NABF and NABA heavyweight championship fight, which to the victor will go an opportunity to challenge for one of the world titles, one of the major world titles. It's interesting how Carlos Takam has been recycled under these circumstances. The Frenchman is being brought back as an opponent He's a durable fighter, but a little bit past it. Though his age hasn't been listed, uh, I do believe Takam is probably 40 years old, if not a little older. The interesting thing about Mahmoudov, he's no spring chicken himself. He's the type of fighter that they are looking to push due to his strength and his size, but there's not a lot on the skill set level. He's 33 years old, nicknamed the Lion, and his present residence is in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. What will he be able to bring to the fight? It's interesting that the only two recognizable names on his record are Marius Wash and Samuel Peter, two fighters who are definitely faded and past it. He has a TKO victory over Jonathan Rice, but we know that Rice can be in and out. With the record of 14 and 0 and 14 KOs, it looks like Mahmoudov has been prepped as a knockout puncher. But what's really at the forefront from him is his strength. Size and strength play a huge role in his success because at 6'5 and a half, almost 6'6, six, six, and 250 plus pounds, this is what he brings to the table consistently. In a bout with Takam, he's not expected to provide elusiveness, mobility. He's going to come forward to the shorter Takam and look to overpower him with his size and strength. We're seeing a lot of that in the heavyweight division, but there is a paradigm shift taking place with the two current champions being mobile, more athletic, and more technically proficient fighters. 
So these big lumbering heavyweights are going to have to start retooling. Otherwise, they're going to be made to look bad. The catch me if you can game will start. We'll see how much Takam will bring to the fight as far as trying to be elusive and not be present for Mahmoudov, but it's not going to be easy. His record of 39 and 6, one draw, 28 KOs, and he's been stopped four times himself, doesn't indicate that he'll be capable of getting out of the way of someone like Mahmoudov. Takam had a tough battle against Joe Joyce, whereas Joyce was able to stop him in his last fight. Takam is the type of fighter who has great endurance, typically comes in in shape, but he's a heavily muscled man, which usually plays against one's endurance when you're in the fight in the heavyweight division. Muscle takes up a lot of energy and being heavily muscled against a much bigger man, I expect to come to tire out early in this fight. The fight will be broadcast on ESPN Plus, as I said, and for this Friday evening, today, September 16th, it may be worth to tune in because it should be entertaining, if nothing else. Takam does not have a lot of power, but he will fight. If he gets hurt, he'll begin to shell up, and that's when he'll begin to not compete. I expect Mahmoudov to go in there and really apply the pressure by it being broadcast on ESPN Plus, it's a great opportunity for him to be marketed. The weigh-in was held earlier and both men came in tipping the scales. 263.3 for Mahmoudov, 261.4 for Takam. That's far too heavy for Takam. He will not be able to be mobile. He will not be able to get out of the way. He will be available for Mahmoudov to maul. When it comes to the technical aspect of things, Mahmoudov is more brutal, doesn't have scientific boxing technique, but he won't need it against Carlos Takam. Takam will be there to be hit when it comes down to better fighters. Those who are at the championship level, that's when you're going to see Makhbanov be tested. Even if he gets in with the likes of Philippe Hergovic, It'll be a task for him. Zili Zhang, these big men who just fought have the type of styles, skills, and temperament that could deter or derail a fighter like Mahmoudov's hopes. But again, when you look at these fighters out there in the heavyweight division today, a lot of them think just simply being big and strong is enough. You have to go and put together some skills. Start off with a jab. Being able to control distance and fight within range to be able to be defensively responsible which to calm is definitely not a fighter of that ilk. Too many times we've seen him take punches flush and direct. 
the toughest guy doesn't always win. Some followers of the sport of boxing love fighters who receive a lot of contact. But over a duration, that's not the smartest thing. Because fighters have lives outside the ring and after their careers have ended. And too much head trauma will pay its toll. A fighter like Takam, as he's gotten older, has received more blunt trauma to the head. But he's a game guy. You can't help but to want to watch and support a guy like this. But he's not being brought into this fight to win. You have to understand that. He's being brought in to help build this young man's career. 14 and 0 with 14 KOs. What do you really think is going to happen to Carlos Takam? And what does this tell us about boxing overall and the heavyweight division in particular? With that record of 14 and 0, I feel that Makhmadov should be taking on other fighters like Zili Zhang, like Philippe Hergovic, like Jared Anderson, or even Danny Dubois. You see what I'm saying here? So what does this tell us about boxing? And what do you really want to know about boxing? Does boxing really offer us what we want to see? This is Stormy B-Man. I want you to leave comments. Think this over very carefully. Tune in to this fight. It's on ESPN Plus, as I said earlier. But know what you're looking at and know what you're getting and know what they're asking of you and know that you can reject it. Leave comments. Let's discuss further. Shout out to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Peace to everyone out there, and everyone please remain safe.